All right, Mike, thank you. Debating protesting bills, the Black Wall Street Times hosting a town hall tonight to discuss several bills it says are anti-freedom. However, one lawmaker says it's about protecting the public. Tour News' Katie Kelleher spoke with both sides to see what they had to say. Katie. Yeah, Vincent, those in the town hall say these bills will hinder Oklahomans' ability to peacefully protest for any purpose, but one legislator tells us that's not the case. The Black Wall Street Times town hall going through multiple bills that will have an effect on protests and riots, including House Bill 1674. The bill would provide protections to drivers fleeing a riot who believe their actions are necessary to protect themselves from serious injury or death. Those in the town hall taking issue with that, saying it lets drivers get away scot-free and it's harmful to protesters. Well, also putting them at greater risk of harm from drivers because it removes those elements of, of liability and discretion from prosecutors in choosing whether or not to um, proceed with charges. Representative Kevin West says last summer's Black Lives Matter protests in Tulsa prompted him to author the bill, specifically the protest on I-244, when a driver pushed through the crowd to get away after protesters beat on and threw things at the truck. The truck injuring some as it drove away, no charges were filed. Representative West says the drivers would still be investigated. That doesn't mean that people can I uh, just expect to, to get off without anything. I mean, it's just like um, if you use a, a firearm in self-defense, there's still going to be an investigation and and then it will be determined if if it was justified or if it wasn't justified. The bill would also increase punishment for protesters, saying if someone is unlawfully blocking use of a public street, they could face a misdemeanor as well as jail time or a fine or both. Those in the town hall say this bill and similar ones are pointed at people wanting to speak up. It's very possible to pick and choose when these um, laws would be um, you know, deployed or who will be impacted. We truly believe um, black and brown Oklahomans will definitely be the impact have the most impact if these bills were to become law. Representative West says it's not taking away the right to peacefully assemble. There's been a lot of talk about that this would, uh, this is an effort to cut down on, on protests and it's absolutely not. It is 100% about public safety. This bill passed the House and is now on to the Senate. Katie Kelleher, Two Works For You.